West Point time capsule opening reveals what skeptics are saying a nearly 200-year-old time capsule was opened on Monday, revealing nothing. The 1-meter lead cube time capsule was rediscovered earlier this year at the base of the Thaddeus Kosciuszko Monument at West Point, New York. One of America's most important Revolutionary War fortifications. There was considerable speculation and exaggeration about what was inside. Yet, as some scholars pointed out during presentation, perhaps it mystery of time capsule. And where it was found treasure. Not thing inside. They said that moment connects past to present. And perhaps even to future. To a disappointment for many. Officials opened the box. The Academy had assembled a panel of historians and other experts, anticipating what it might find. Academy officials concluded that time capsule was placed at the monument by students in 1828, just 26 years after Academy's founding. Academy researchers said Michigan students at the time included Ebenezer Sprout Sibley, who graduated in 1827. Thomas A. H. Edwards, Class 1829, Isaac S. Rowland, Class of 1831, neither graduated, and Alfred Bush, graduate 1832, but even before the event, cynics made comparisons to the fiasco when Geraldo Rivera opened Al Capone's safe during a television show in 1986. The locked safe was found in a room of the Lexington Hotel in Chicago. It also turned out to be empty. At West Point, they donned gloves and a mask to lift the lead ceiling. All they found at bottom of the capsule was some silt that scholars said they would examine later. Maybe, just maybe, there was something there. They found a sign. General George Washington chose Kosciuszko, an engineer to strengthen West Point's defenses during the American War of Independence. This helped a new nation rid an old one. Kosciuszko is no longer just at West Point. But America's bicentennial it is recognized around the world. Including a monument in Detroit. Which was a gift during the more West Point will open nearly 200-year-old forgotten time capsule it's. Not really what's in there that matters said Brig. Just before the time capsule opened, General Shane Reeves, Dean of the Academy, said make no mistake. I hope it's good. I can't wait to see what's inside. But at end of the day, he said, experience is an opportunity to reflect and be inspired.